Hey everyone, it is Friday here at Craft Clutch, and that means it is another Coaster Friday. So let's get started. Several people have asked me to do fall leaves in some of my coasters, and that is what I'm doing today. I have picked some really pretty leaves with different coloring on there. I stuck them in a book for a while um, to flatten them. Here's a pretty one. This one might be too big. Um, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to put some of these in our coasters. But the first thing I'm going to do is put a layer of resin down. And two of these I'm going to do clear and one I'm going to do with a color. Um, I'm not doing glitter or anything like that just because I think that might take away from the actual leaves. And it's kind of nice to be able to see maybe the veining on the back as well as the front because it does look different. So I'm going to do a layer of resin in here and then we will come back to do the next step. But in the meantime, I'm going to just take some Mod Podge and I'm going to seal the leaves on the front and the back. My first layer of resin is ready to go and I'm going to pour just a thin layer in two because I'm going to do two of them clear. And then the third one, I'm going to do a little bit of food color in it, just to see how it looks. And I'm going to take this neon green food color that I have, and I'm going to put some drops in there, see how it looks. And that's the color I'm going to go with for that one. Can you see it? That way it will be clear but we'll have a little bit of tint of color for those of you who prefer the tint of color in there. So we'll let all that sit, we'll get rid of any bubbles, and then we'll be back. I'm back with the next step, and my leaves are dried on both sides. And what I'm going to do is a couple of different things. I'm going to do one as a single, and I'm going to take this and trim it, because my stem is too long, and I'm going to put it in here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take my Mod Podge, and I'm going to put it on the back of the leaf and I'll place it down where I want it and then I will Mod Podge over the whole thing again. Now I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna let it dry for at least 24 hours and the reason I want to do that is just to make sure Mod Podge is dry because if it's not dry and I add the resin it will never dry and I'll always have like a cloudy spot. Now on this one that has the green background, I was going to use these leaves, a variety of these leaves, and I'm going to do the same thing. I got them all in. I put layers of Mod Podge on here, um, one layer, nice thick layer. I will let everything completely dry, and then we'll come back and do the next step. I'm back, and I want to show you, here is the Mod Podge covered leaves, and it's completely dry. I've left it for a couple days just because I had other things I had to do. so. It worked out that it had more than enough time to completely dry. And now all I'm going to do is pour a layer over each of these. And the only thing I really need to concern myself with is that some of these leaves aren't perfectly flat, so I want to make sure that I have enough resin on there that they're completely covered. Then as usual, let it set for 12 hours and we'll be back to unmold it. I'm back to unmold the coasters, the leaf coasters. Here's the one, and this is the one that I had the green food color in there just to give it a little bit of color and it's got a little bit of a green tint to it. So there's that one. And this next one I did get a little bit of a bubble stuck in there. I thought I got it all but I didn't and I'm not sure exactly why this one didn't come out quite so clear. So here they are, the three leaf coasters, and the only thing I do want to say is I am kind of disappointed that I kind of got that cloudy film from the Mod Podge, which is unusual. I don't normally get that, and I've done a couple other projects with it, and had I run it all the way to the edge, probably I wouldn't, I don't know, maybe I would, I think I would notice. I don't remember having like brush strokes or anything visible in any of my other ones. So I'm going to do a little more experimenting. Maybe it's just because I didn't use my newer Mod Podge. I used some older stuff that may have been a little bit contaminated with some other stuff and maybe it didn't um, quite get clear. So I'll be doing more experimenting with it. But 
overall, I mean, I like the the look, and I like that the leaves are preserved in there. We'll just have to work out the whole Mod Podge thing. But other than that, I hope you like it. Hope you give it a try. If you have any tips on um, maybe a different product, or if you if you know why this happened, I would appreciate it in the comments below. Let me know if you like it. Let me know which one you like the best. If you like a colored background, or if you like something clear, so your furniture and stuff shows through. Um, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and happy crafting. We'll see you next time.